All right, and we're back with episode two of Hot Takes. I'm Maura. I'm McKenna. And I'm Maya. And this is Hot Takes. So, my first unpopular opinion, The Office is better than Friends. Ooh. I feel like I can't have an opinion on this, Maura. <laughs> McKenna, then that's a bigger problem. <laughs> I don't I know what to tell you. I haven't seen either of them <gasps> enough. What? You haven't Be seen shunned. either of them enough? Leave society. I've seen like two episodes of each. <laughs> what? That is pathetic. That physically hurts me. Like, I've watched actually. each multiple times. Yeah. Okay. Well, we can't. You're out of this I'm discussion. I'm more of a Grey's then. Anatomy person. Um. Ew. Oh, okay. Okay. So the unpopular opinion: You think The Office is better? than I Friends? think The Office is better than Friends. I can't say that I agree with that. I just, you know, I think Friends is just like classic. You know, like I get The Office too, but. There's just something about Friends that's just... But I feel like Friends during its time might have been better. But now there's so many different variations of that same exact thing. Whereas The Office, I love how it's a, supposed to be this documentary. Like even the film work of it, you can see like it's supposed to look like it's some, a camera on someone's shoulder. Oh my they're God. zooming in. They're making these facial expressions like the classic Jim hmm, face. Like, you I know? Um, saw a TikTok. It was either this morning or yesterday, and it was of, like, the fat guy from The Office. Kevin? It was of Kevin. And he was explaining that during the first season, um, the directors had them go in 30 minutes early and just, like, do, like, a fake office yeah. job for 30 minutes. So it looked like... Like, when they're doing the B-roll yeah. of that show, they're actually just doing, doing paperwork. Random shit. Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, like, Friends is just so relatable like it's relatable in ways yeah. that the office isn't because if you've never had a corporate nine-to-five job you can't fully relate to the office mm -hmm. like you can relate to like the personal stuff that's going on in their lives or like the frustration that they feel but with friends it's just about people like living their lives and trying to figure everything out and I mean everybody struggles with that everybody struggles with trying to figure out what they want to do in life but nobody really struggles with a corporate nine-to-five you know, mm. and friends, yeah, there's so many different variations, but you could say the same thing about The Office. I mean, originally there was the UK version, and then there's Parks and Rec, very similar vibes in Parks and Rec. And yeah, the but, but Parks no, and Rec the office is, just, is better than Parks and Rec. Yeah, The Office is so much better than Parks and Rec. The jokes yeah. are just better in The Office. And, so much better. And Parks and Rec, they're just trying to be inappropriate with their jokes, and a lot of them are funny. Like, it's a hilarious show. But The Office, I feel like there's just more variety. I mean, I get, I guess. The thing about The Office was, like, in the later seasons, it just it it went bad. downhill. It went downhill so fast. So but unbelievably in its, fast. Like, seasons, what, one through five? One seasons through six? One through five. Up until Michael left. Up until Michael left. That spoiler alert time. for those who haven't oh, yeah, watched the show. I guess it's a little <laughs> late. But Michael leaves to go move on to his new life with his wife, Holly. But... He gets replaced he gets by wife. Andy Bernard, who is just an annoying kiss-up, who I'm not a fan. What was that other guy? Um, Will Ferrell. Who did Will Ferrell play? Oh, he was not in long enough. He got, like, in a car accident or something. Yeah. No, he got pushed out a window. <laughs> Wasn't it, like, D'Angelo? Yeah, D'Angelo Vickers. Vickers. D'Angelo Vickers. No, Poor the basketball thing. hoop fell on top of him because he was trying to do a slam dunk. Oh, that's right. That's why he quit. And then we had that weird guy. Um, yeah. Th I don't remember his name. Oh, I hate his voice. I hated his voice, too. But anyways, so back to the original plot of the movie. Um, <laughs> for Friends, my main argument, I would say, is that it's just more relatable than The Office, you know? Mm. And I think that is just what makes it so much better. You know, like The Office is so funny, but Friends is also extremely funny. Like there hasn't been a time when I have, when I've watched Friends and I haven't like let out a few chuckles, you know? Yeah. It's but just... to that other point, to my point, The Office, you could watch any episode and not really have to worry about a plot line. There, right. it's just, you could watch anything and you'll find something to laugh at. A lot you get... Into the later seasons of Friends, you get that whole Ross and Rachel. That's a lot of the punchlines yeah, of a lot the of the seasons, jokes. It was like when I watched it, I understood everything, mm -hmm. like the random episodes that I watched. Yeah, for Friends. But I just feel like sometimes The Office, just out of context, is just hilarious in or yeah, without context. Yeah, it does context. have that kind of quality. Yeah, I I agree. I do agree with that. Beautiful. Okay, so 
So it's been discussed. Been discussed. No conclusions are drawn. Maybe we should have McKenna watch at least some yeah. of the, some of my <laughs> Go to your time. I've got the DVD set if you want to borrow it. You know, okay, yeah. Um, Next up is HBO Max, in case you want to. Right. I um, still need your Disney Plus account. Right. I'll give that to you. Right. Don't thanks. you worry. I really want to, you know, <laughs> All right, feel folks. like I'm not a complete loser. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Segue into next hot take. All right. Um... I found out a fun fact about Mora that brought up this hot take. Which way do you face in the shower? <laughs> Which way do I face in the shower? Yeah, like yep. towards the running water? Like when you're or rinsing, with your head like back? When I'm rinsing my hair? Yeah, yeah. Um, when I'm rinsing my hair, I face away from the water. Right. Uh, As a normal person wrong, does. Wrong, sir. As a normal person does. Mora, you face the we have water? Mora. <laughs> yes. What? <laughs> Do you okay. like? Do please you tilt your head back? Do please you explain why. Do you tilt why. your head back when you wash it? No. For those she listening to the cool. podcast, I am currently going to do a demonstration. So, water is running in front of the face. You got the suds in there. You're scrubbing, scrubbing, scrubbing. You don't want to be have your back to that while you're scrubbing because then it might just rinse out before you get a chance to scrub. Right? Right. Okay. Wrong. What the. Fuck? What are you Let doing? me finish, okay? So you scrubby, scrubby, scrub, and now it's all like bubbly. <laughs> right, that's how I said that. So it's all bubbly. Bubbly. Yeah. Then you don't want it to like rush into your face. So you make like a nice little visor at your hairline, and then you just let it go. I like to sometimes even use like my shampoo to just wash my face before I even do like a cleanser or anything, just to get like leftover makeup off. That is so wrong. It's no. so right. No, it's so not wrong. Even Why would you make a visor like this when if you face away from the water, all you, you don't do have is to make it. You have back. to back bend. You though. don't have to back That's bend so that much. You, you literally just like, go like this. You don't no. even move your back. You just move your neck. It and might you're like be done. because my shower head has two running little streams and the rest are broken. So regardless, <laughs> like it might have it's to easier to face away from the water. No, Mora, if you put your shampoo, no, no, do, no. wait. First of all, do you put your shampoo into your palm first or directly onto your head? Into my palm. Okay, so you put it in your palm, you rub it around, you face away. No, you don't rub it around. It has to activate in your hair. What? No. Yeah, you can't let it get what? sucked in your hands. <gasps> you guys don't know this. You're washing your hair wrong. It's just like how you wa- when you wash your skin, you're supposed to do the bubble. It's supposed to bubble on your face because that's it actually doing its so job. So here's here's the thing about my shampoo: it doesn't get bubbly because it doesn't have any sulfates in it, and that's what makes it get bubbly. My shampoo anyway. doesn't get bubbly either. Right? Huh? Anyway, I feel like sulfates would bad things for your hair. Right, they so are. Maybe... So mine don't have them. Anyways, keep going, keep going. Come okay, on. so you put it in your palm, you rub it around, you put it all in your hair, facing away from the shower, so it gets sudsy in your hair while you're scrubbing it. And then, ready, ready? Step into the water. You turn around. No, that's <laughs> so much work. I had it's risk so much work. You're not even moving. <laughs> I could risk you slipping, literally... falling, breaking my neck. Hey, but what if there's hot paramedics? <laughs> okay, well, this is a it's school just like... podcast. We don't need that right now. It's Hot just <laughs> that doesn't. It's that just makes wrong. no sense, Mora. I want you have homework now. Try it our way. Try okay, it when I'm you go home. It. Try it. Try it washing it. I also away keep from the water. my like shampoo, conditioner, face wash junk, like on a little ledge that yeah, when you, you so when you're I. facing the stream, you have to step through. The stream to yeah, get Yeah, I do too, but that doesn't mean that I face the water when I wash my hair. Do you guys just have like short arms? You can't just like reach and grab it. I like walk. It's like a waterfall. You just said you just want to run away. You want to slip and fall and break your neck. But no, no, no. See, I've been burned in the past, but doing a nice little quick a uh, turn, and then I just swap out. What's not Fun. a nice little quick turn? You just kind of you turn. Just turn your body. You don't have to go fast. It's not a race. Like yeah. you're not gonna burn with the shampoo on your on your head. Okay. Crash and burn. <laughs> I'm not gonna change my ways. I'm not gonna lie. I like how I do it. I like. I like. Do you okay? Well, okay. So do you wash your hair before or after you wash the rest of yourself? Like before the soap and stuff. See. <laughs> Like we mentioned before, it's not the highest quality shampoo, so it's a multi-purposeful shampoo. No, you do. 
<laughs> my mom buys whatever is cheapest on no. sale. So like the clearance. So we got a lot of like the head and shoulders multitaskers. <gasps> You're a three in one. You're a three in one <laughs> kind of person? Yeah, but then I have really fancy conditioner. So I guess it balances out. Like the fancy purple bottle, you know? The little uh -uh. kangaroo. Do you okay, McKenna? Do you wash your like body first? Avocado or your hair oil first? And junk. My hair first. Right. Why? Because when you wash your hair, all of like the it's at the top of your head. So when you rinse it out, all the dirt. Right. Hair I all use my right? like body. body cleanser. Like well, okay, for well, Lord, body. Do you wash your hair though. first or your body first? That's what we're asking. I wash my hair first. Right. Because I don't want to like conditioner get stuck like on your skin. I feel right. Like clogs right. of pores, right. and then you have to use the other stuff that's... My order is shampoo, condition, brush, rinse. Brush? You have, I have to brush my hair in the, the shower. In the you oh, should, you should not curly. brush your hair in the shower. Right. Curly game. Right. Um, so, brush, rinse, body, face. Right. That's the correct order. No other. Right. On to the next. Uh, More? Okay, so my topic that I wished to discuss... And now retrospect. I guess you can partake it. I guess. I think I'm the only one that could have a just claim. It's gonna be just about, say it. It's going to be about Marvel. All right, folks. My next hot take. Marvel is, in fact, better than DC. 100% better than DC. See, now this is where we're all See, like, in I agreement. Even, I haven't even watched any Marvel movies. Exactly. That that. This is what I'm saying. So this is where we find an ish. Okay. Well, I personally have avoided the DC movies because I just, you know, I've seen they're a couple. They're just so much darker. They're just, they're darker and they're stupid. Like, Marvel's just interesting. Marvel is funny, you know? Like, it's got all of the elements of a good movie. And it's just, See, I just can't watch DC because of it. DC isn't stupid. I really like, I enjoy DC. I enjoy watching DC. DC just the characters are just out such tortured souls that aren't able to make jokes about their pain. Right. But and in that's Marvel, it's Marvel funny because they make jokes, jokes about Jokes about their pain. Right. So that's what we all got to do. Sometimes the only way to get through it is to laugh through it. And I feel that's what Marvel does oh so well. Tony Stark, the sarcasm, top notch. Peter Parker, the kid's parents are dead. But, you know, he's living his life. His uncle and his aunt dead. And his aunt. Yeah, well. Best friends don't spoiler remember. Spoiler alert for those who have not watched Spider-Man No Way Home. It's too late. Yeah, well. Awkward. I feel like we'll get in trouble if we don't even say well, it. Well, I feel like if they had, if they were going to watch it, they would have watched it out already. It's been out for quite some yeah, time. I watched so it. So you would see that. You would say <sighs> that. But then there's people like me. Folks, I got a new hot topic. Okay. Break it down. Break it All down. Right, break it ready, down. Ready. Ready. Going to the movies is better than watching it on Netflix. Well, obviously. No. What? No. See, when I, when I went to the movies, like, it, it, would, it had been a while since I've been to the movies, so I was like, this is a lot. This is too much for me. You know? Yeah, but, no, it's but just... then we had this shared experience on the big screen, and yeah. it was just so much better. But, like, but I'm at home when I'm watching Netflix, no. you know? Like, yeah, like, I don't have to go out. I can the I literally wear anything I want. I can eat anything I want that's in my house for free. Or I could get delivery for somewhere, which is pretty much the same cost of like the food at the movie theater, but it's Honestly. anything that I want. It was like eight dollars for a medium popcorn. Right. That's robbery. But you could get like a four for four from Wendy's. For $4. You could get Chipotle, you know? You could, you could get, get popcorn pizza. at your house. You could get a salad pizza with cheese from Colony. You know? Mm -hmm. You could get anything you want, eat it in the comfort of your home. Maybe, you know, in your own bed with a bunch of blankets and a bunch of pillows. I see your point. And the going and the pets. Your pets just surrounding you. Some stuffed animals, if that tickles your fancy. <laughs> and you just watch the movie, you know? Okay. I see your points. I see them all. If that tickles your fancy. But these, on the big screen is the way these movies were meant to be made. You have to get that feeling that you are just in the movie. There's no way that looking at your tiny phone screen or looking at your TV, 
you're even going to get an ounce of that same experience that you are when you are surrounded by this massive screen, surround sound, this black room. You just feel like you're in the movie too. It's a whole experience. My well, house we... has surround sound. Okay, yeah, well not I all have of us. Quite literally, a very large TV. I don't not have to watch. All Netflix of us on have that phone. shared. Right, and if that's your thing, going to the movies, oh, that's shit. fine. But not, it's not for everybody, you know. And the movies are good for like premieres of movies that you've been anxious to see, mm-hmm. but like. If you're just going to sit down and watch a movie, just do Netflix. You Very know, true. if it's a movie that you're not really excited to see but you want to see, you could just wait for it to come out. Yeah, but that, that was, was a good. nice shot. That was a really good shot. For those listening to the podcast, we kind of just made an amazing stuff. shot from the desk to the to recycling bin. To the recycling bin. bin. Because Environmentally friendly. Women in STEM. What, you, you're not going to yell at her for not rinsing it out? Oh, bestie. Go get it. Every single time. I try to throw something Go away. Get She's it like, no, it. <laughs> Sorry, Miss Bouchard. I'll, I'll have her fix it right away. Our bad. Right away. It's not like they recycle anyway, so. That's different. And another thing about the movie theaters, it's just, it's too loud. No. It is really loud. And there loud. are people in there that, you know, aren't courteous to others. Like, the people who open the chip bags in, uh, like, the quiet scenes. Or I say we just get rid of movie popcorn, food. Or, in you general. know, slurp it makes drinks. The, stick, the seat's all sticky. Or, you know what's worse? The kids, that one group of kids that will oh, sit yeah. in the movie theater and just have a conversation while the movie's going on. Like, that shut up. Remember when we went and watched Spider-Man Home, uh, Spider-Man No Way Home for the third, t- for my third time, the, our last most recent time? The one where you made me go, at, like... Yeah, at, like, 11 o'clock at night. Yeah. Well, as you should. But there were those people After next to us. To there were only maybe five of us in the entire theater. Because the movie had been out for a while and it was really late showing. And there was this couple next to us. They were talking and he was explaining Marvel to this girl. And I'm like, what the heck and heifer? Maybe that should have happened before the movie instead of yeah. during the movie. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. And they were having like little conversations and laughing. I'm like, dude, you're ruining the experience. I pay good money. To feel the effects of the movie. Like, either. disregard the fact that she's seen it two times before. Yeah. I cry every time. Right. But. I just, I will never think that the movies are better than oh. Netflix. You know? I've There's come to the realization Netflix, since that. COVID, since being deprived of this, that I am willing to spend any kinds of money in order to go see movies. I'm not. I am. No. That's one thing I'm willing to do. Some of us don't like just a- have, like, thousands of dollars sitting in our bank account. Okay, well, that's not my fault that I'm a hoarder, but it's fine. Hoarder. Some of us have spending problems, Laura. That's, yeah. yeah. My own. You do. I think I currently have like 14, no, $10 Mm -hmm. in my bank account. I had to get gas. It cost me $45. To fill up your tank? Mm -hmm. $25 gave me a half a tank. AKA $50 to fill the tank. Mm -hmm. It's ridiculous. Anyway. Back. I have an unpopular opinion. Okay. I feel like Mora, this is gonna, Mora's gonna disagree. You're gonna agree. Okay. So I feel we. There is absolutely no reward in being the bigger person. Oh my god. 100 percent. There's no. Absolutely. There There is is no no reward ever. Morally, you should be the bigger person. It's the right thing to do. Is there a reward? Absolutely not. What do you get? Not crippling guilt. Well, if I got a cookie to be a bigger person, sure, I would be the bigger person. I don't get a cookie, so I'm not being the bigger person. See, but like the thing about the guilt is, if you already feel bad about yourself, what's another thing? There's no point in just like trying to make it better when it's already that bad. So you might as well just suck it up and be mean to somebody, you know? Or if you just don't feel the guilt. Right, but there's, there are certain situations where being the bigger person is the best option. Like, it's just completely wrong to not be the bigger person. Right. You it's know? never but right in some, to be the in some situations. Person. More, let me give you, you know? a situation, an, an example. Me and this girl have some beef, right? <laughs> and she starts rumors and she lies to people about what I've done and what my friends have done. I'm not being nice to her. Like, I am not just going to ignore that and be nice to her and talk to her. Never. Like, no. That's not what I, that's not what the, being the bigger person is Yes, it is. is that's about. what being the bigger no, person no, is. No, being the, the bigger, bigger person, person is I not letting that affect you. No, no, here's the example. And I just have to, moving I have to work, on with I have your to life. work with her, like, on a daily basis. Mm-hmm. But I don't talk to her because 
I don't want to interact with her. Exactly, you don't have to. Being the lesser individual would be to counteract that hatred with more hatred, with more negativity. Being the bigger person is not letting her feed off of the anger that you arise. But then, see, it's see, just it's sometimes boring. It's, see, sometimes it's boring if you don't funny. start the drama. It's, okay. <laughs> it's funny. Am I the drama? I am I the, might drama. Be the drama. <laughs> I am no. the drama. To be the bigger person is the right thing to do by yourself and by the other person. It just dissipates the, the tension. It fixes things. Wrong. Because some things, just some things are just beyond fixing. Some things are just so screwed Never. up that you can't even begin to like make it Fix better. It. So what's the Literally. point in trying but to try? That's what is the point in, the in trying? There is no you point. You should have become Literally. the bigger person so you didn't get to that point. Well, but what happens in the situation when you do that? Try, what Please happens in the situation? Because it makes you feel better because you know that you're not in the wrong. You're doing the right thing. I already know I'm not in the wrong. Exactly. So you're just reassuring yourself. No. Yes. No. I am not going to budge on this issue. I refuse. I have... No. No, no. No. She's too good of a person. No. Like, who cares? Honestly. Like, I if, I've, care. already, if no. I've already been screwed over by a person, and I did nothing wrong, and I tried to be the bigger person by not doing anything wrong to them, but they just keep going, I'm not going to try anymore. No, you know, they made no. their choice. To not be nice. They exactly. made their choice to intentionally Just hurt somebody. So that's not my problem anymore, you know? If Literally. they want to hurt me, I'm going to hurt them back. Oh, exactly. Gosh. Oh, gosh. Folks. It doesn't matter who they are. Maura, you if are you did something bad to me, here. Maura, if you did something bad to me, mm -hmm. like super, super bad, you know? Yeah. And I tried. And it just got worse. I don't care how long I've known you. I will, will not be the bigger person. That's Absolutely just, not. One hundred percent, I would not. That's just like a stem to the. That heart. is just. <laughs> wrong. She's to an example. <laughs> that, I just. That is just. Like, do you it, like it if you've just been hurt heart. that bad by something? There it are, doesn't even have to be that bad, you know. It can be tiny things. Yeah, like literally. you still don't have to be the bigger person. You don't owe it to anybody. Yeah. It's your life. Oh, there hurts. are three people, where I had, the choice. I guess not really. And to you be never the bigger person. The bigger person. Never. Because none of those three people deserved it. For me but to be the bigger are person you to them. decide. Me. They deserve it's my me. life. It's her life. It is my oh life. My it's how gosh. she feels. Just she let... has a right to her own feelings and opinions. Moral of the story for folks at home. Let people just live their life. No. Go with the flow. Right, let me live my life and not be the bigger person. No. That's that's not letting others. That's literally live their what you lives. just said. You just said let people that live is, their lives. Let me yeah. live my life. You want to let people live their lives hurting people? No, I'm saying to even those people. How are don't they going to learn if they're not called out on their stuff? Don't How are they going to learn? They're never going to learn. They're never going to learn. They're never going to learn. Ergo, call them out. Calling out is not being a lesser person. That is being. Um, I feel like calling them out is the right thing to do when it would solve an issue. Right, but when but it doesn't solve an issue, that's that's being if it the does, lesser that's being the petty. <laughs> then you don't the decide to attack the other person. Right, no. but what if you they don't deserve counteract it? hate with hate? That's yes, you do. Unless you don't fight it. fire with fire. Unless you make a bigger fire. It. You fight fire with water or a nice blanket to smother the flame. So murder is essentially what we're doing <laughs> now. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> Let the fire burn out naturally. But who knows how long that could take? And that's just, that's just hurting both so sides. So far, it's more. taken three years. <laughs> <So> <laughs> it's still not out. <laughs> folks. Still not folks, out. folks, folks. Okay. Well, that's the end of that one. Do we have any other topics we'd like to discuss? Maya, have you whipped out anything? You know, no, I have not. I'm okay. Not really I have one. I don't know if it's really unpopular or not, though. Is black a color? Eh. No. Yeah. I don't know. Black that's... is the absence of color. Right. That's what the definition is. But I feel like... But if you're looking for a crayon, yeah, it's black. Are you going to grab it and you're going to draw with it? But or like, it's called at the same time, gray. how is black an absence of color? Like, if you're, if you're mixing the Crayola, right? Well, you're light mixing is it. color. Because <laughs> it's on that it. spectrum. You know? But so, like, light how comes they, from like, that UV or... But why is visible light? But visible why is light black is a black, way you know? Why yeah. is black black? Like, why is it like that, you know? Right. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because on, like, the visible light spectrum, black, you can't, black isn't on there. 
Exactly. So right, so like, who decided color. that the color black was going to look like it does? Who decided that that was it? And then like, why they just closed their eyes and they went Why are there different shades of black? There has to gray. be some kind of color in Chrome there, but doesn't gray. that mean that it's no longer black because there's color in it? Is there color in it or is there just light in it? I don't know. I don't know how this works. Okay. Because looking around the room, there's, there's a lot of black in here. Multiple different this, blacks. Quite let's literally. end this on a positive. Starbucks is better than Dunkin. 100%. I, no. Yes. 100%. No. Okay, so you're getting, getting more for your money. The quality. Okay, let's weigh the pros and the cons. Okay. Dunkin. Heck of a lot cheaper Heck than of a lot. Starbucks. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm talking about I could get a coffee at Dunkin for $3, a medium. But a medium at Starbucks could cost five. me five. Yeah. Right. And I don't even get, like, the same amount. Because right. Starbucks mediums are bigger than... No, Dunkin' mediums are bigger than Starbucks mediums. Right? Quality right. over quantity. Con. Dunkin' screws up a lot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Not to offend any listeners who may be involved in the Dunkin' franchise. However, you guys mess Angela up. Angela even knows. <laughs> Angela knows. Um, Angela knows. Another con for Dunkin'. Um... The workers, not as friendly as Starbucks workers. Not at all. The the Dunkin' workers are like. Assholes. I don't know not what it is to about it. any workers. More on Dunkin'. <laughs> no, but it's like it's like a universal thing. To it's not like you can apply it to like people you know. It's like any Dunkin' that you go to. I have not once. They're all rude. Had a very good experience at Dunkin' before. Another con about yeah, no. Dunkin'. They got rid of lemonade. They did. They discontinued. They lemonade. discontinued the lemonade. Yeah. So now we only like one drink at Dunkin'. There's one drink okay. that I like from Dunkin'. Pro, this, the um, Dunkin' coffee, I will always think tastes better than Starbucks coffee. But a con is that Starbucks refreshers will 100% always be better than Dunkin'. Facts. Starbucks has more variety of, like, fun drinks. Mm -hmm. Dunkin' doesn't really. But And when they try to, it goes wrong. Yep. Because either the employees don't make it right, or it was just rooted in bad intentions. But you know what the thing about Dunkin' is? I am a fiend for Dunkin' coffee. Like, I yeah. wake up in the morning and the first thing that I think about is getting a coffee from Dunkin'. Like, Nowhere. Starbucks just doesn't do the same thing for me. Like, it's caffeine, you know? So, like, the, re the reaction should be the same. But it's like, if I'm craving coffee, my first thought is to Dunkin'. 100%. It's never to Starbucks. Only for the oat milk shake and espresso at Starbucks will I go crazy for it. Because Dunkin', like, they just, they don't do it, you know? Mm. What about their food? I think that Dunkin' food is so much better than Starbucks food. Mm, mm. That's where I disagree with you. See, I think the Dunkin' sandwiches, sandwiches. Sandies. Here's my issue. I don't like eggs. Well, so I don't like any food from Dunkin' except for like their bagels, donuts, and muffins. Muffins not great. I, but muffins aren't great at. Starbucks I do either. really like Dunkin's muffins. I've never had a muffin from Starbucks, but I love Starbucks paninis and croissants. The croissants. Love. I've had the chocolate croissant at Starbucks. And at Dunkin'. Because I needed to compare. I had to figure out which one is giving me the best I bang haven't been able to do that yet, for so my buck. Starbucks wins out. Oh. There's not enough chocolate in the Dunkin' one. Really? Really. I feel like Dunkin' would be the one to overload the chocolate. There's not enough chocolate. And they mix a bunch of different chocolates in it. <gasps> so it's a, un it's a good croissant. Solid. It's a good croissant? It's flaky. Enough. <laughs> it's chocolate. Enough. But you just can't do better than Starbucks. I just, I can't get over the prices for Starbucks. It's just so high. Like, I could for get no so reason. two things at Starbucks and it'll run me up to 10 bucks. But I could get two things at Dunkin' and at most I'm spending six. Five. Five or six, yeah. You know? But the thing is, I've yeah. gotten trapped in the star system of Starbucks. So it's like every other trip, I'm getting a free croissant. Yeah, but Dunkin', so I thinking. feel like, gives you so many more points. Yeah, but I don't go there enough to get those points because I'm so wrapped up in the stars getting me free croissants and cinnamon raisin bagels. It's a vicious cycle. Cinnamon raisin. The cinnamon raisin. Oh my god, they're so. Dunkin's is garbage. I guess cinnamon a raisin bagel. Starbucks would be that you could get free food. Free with food. Points. Yeah. yeah. Dunkin, it's, it's just only free, free drinks. Like free drinks, yeah. But, you but get food. the things at Dunkin aren't really even that expensive, so does it really matter? Yeah. Um. I think that's it, right? I don't know. I will for always. I, I will, will always, always like think 
that Duncan is better. As Whoa. she's taking a sip of her Starbucks. Because I gave up caffeine for Lent, and I can't have anything from Duncan. So, yeah, I'm a little mad about it. This is the only caffeine free drink. For those who are wondering, it's a passion tango tea with lemonade and two pumps of cane sugar with light ice. It's caffeine free. It's great. It quenches your thirst, you know? You know, I'm just so does water. All right, and that's it for our newest episode of Hot Takes. See you next episode, everyone.